Why won't my ERC-20 token transaction go through? Hello, I'm Robert Stack from Unsolved Mysteries. Tonight we talk about phenomenon that plagues new ERC-20 token users everywhere. The dreaded, insufficient funds for gas problem when trying to send ERC-20 tokens. So when did you start running the bar on, on a gas generator? About a week like... ago. I've been doing it for about a week. Why would you do that? Blockchain WTF has answered this question in previous videos. You need Ether to send ERC-20 tokens. But there's still a lot of users yet to be onboarded that will likely be confused by this requirement. After all, it's pretty frustrating when you don't have transactions go through and you have no idea why. However, an ERC Ethereum request for comment has gained traction and that would look to eliminate this problem. The suggestion seems simple, but the workings behind it are a little bit more complex. Basically, you're allowing users to pay for gas, the unit needed to run transactions on the Ethereum network, in any ERC20 token when previously it could only be purchased using Ether. Within Ethereum's current ecosystem, gas must be purchased with Ether. So if you're trying to transfer an ERC-20 token, such as basic attention token, you actually need a small balance of Ether in order to purchase the gas required to execute the transaction. If you don't have Ether in your wallet, you can't pay for gas, even though you're not transferring Ether. As you can see, this requirement can be quite confusing, and that's where ERC-865 comes in. Greatly simplified, you would be allowed to purchase gas with ERC-20 tokens or at least have the appearance of doing so. Now, some of you more familiar with the Ethereum ecosystem might realize that buying gas with anything other than Ether could be very detrimental to the ecosystem. That's what it's built upon. Ethereum was set up in some very specific ways. That core tenet of the ecosystem is the requirement that gas be bought with only Ether. Don't fret Ethereum enthusiasts, the requirement that gas be bought with only Ether is not going anywhere. Sweet. ERC-865 just gives the appearance that tokens are used to buy gas, but there's really more going on behind the scenes. This involves one of the rare times the community has considered adding a third party or an extra step to help user experience. A behind the scenes third account that the sending user doesn't even have to directly interact with acts as a middleman who exchanges the ERC-20 token that's being transferred for a small amount of ether, enough to pay for the transaction to go through. Eight six five is just kind of a shortcut used to make the network easier for everyone to use. So for the user, ERC eight six five is going to make it look like you can directly buy gas with ERC twenty tokens. However, behind the scenes, there's a little bit more going on, and Ether is still really the currency being used to buy gas. This user experience improvement is part of a greater trend going on. People think of adoption as some active decision. And it really isn't like that at all. You don't need people to openly embrace cryptocurrency. You need to provide them an ecosystem that is easy to use, so easy to use, they don't even know that they're utilizing cryptocurrencies and blockchain technologies. The best way to achieve adoption is through user experience, positive user experience, specifically ease of use, and that's exactly what ERC-865 is doing. 